Welcome to the Planeswalker Project. So it's finally happened. The Mothership has answered our prayers. Modern Masters 2017 has some of the best cards for Modern ever in it. And I'm not kidding either. If you've been living under a rock the past few days, you may have missed a lot of good stuff. Damn near every card that players have cried out for reprints of have gotten a sick new reprint in this set. And Damnation for some reason, which I'm pretty sure I've never seen in a modern deck before, but who cares? We got Damnation back. So to hop on the bandwagon of gushing over how amazing Modern Masters 2017 is, I want to talk about my thoughts on the set. And being the commander fanatic slash lunatic that I am, rather than bore you all with my prattling on about the cards I feel are best for the format, here's a hint, it's like everything in the set. I'm going to talk about the cards that make me as a commander player squee with glee. Shut up, I know I rhymed. Smack that like button to make sure I don't regret posting this. Here we go! To start off this list, I want to say just how happy I am that the fetch lands are being reprinted. As if getting the allied fetches in Khan's Tarkir block wasn't enough, we still have yet to get a set of the Zendikar fetch lands. So, these were the big hitters being played in modern, and of course having a home of commander, for the few who can afford a hundred dollar card for a mana base. <clears throat> And seeing them now in this new card border makes me actually consider buying some Modern Masters, which is something I thought I'd never say. Next up is Path to Exile. Good gravy, this is a card that I seriously hate myself for ever owning. So story time! So to get my scrubby butt into Modern, I had bought the Modern Event deck that came with a couple copies of Path to Exile. Yes, we here at the Planeswalker Project have been known from time to time to make some savvy purchases for magic products. Thanks, Professor! But little did I realize how foolish I would be as I kinda traded them away in the mindset of likely not needing more than one for any of my commander decks. <laughs> it's not like I was gonna need them later, right? Right? And just like that, the one intelligent thing I've done in playing magic has immediately been dismissed by all of you. I tried using Seance at one point because I thought it was a cool little flavor thing with the spirits, but to be perfectly honest, I care nothing about it as all of you would have cared as if they included Tibalt in this set. Moving on. I don't always play blue, but when I do, I need a Cyclonic Rift in Commander. Who am I kidding? I love playing blue in Commander. Sign me right the fuck up for these packs. I need me some good trade value and possibly a Rift or three. Kraken Hatchling, because Wizards needed to give draft players an arbitrary Kraken that is about as unthreatening as possible. Totally putting it in a Kraken Commander deck. <laughs> Obligatory Snapcaster Mage makes me squee about having just built Nicobola's EDH. Temporal Mastery, I'm not smart enough to ever get a hold of any Power 9, so I'll take Discount Time Walk. This is a great card for Jaleva or Narset or, you know, any blue combo deck that can use an extra turn. Bone Splinters, I'm equating this card's inclusion to be a massive middle finger at anyone who wanted Fatal Push to get another printing in this set as perhaps the best new kill spell in Modern. Obligatory Damnation joke isn't even needed here. We got our reprints, so damn you all. I'm gonna say it outright, I'm really upset that they put Grizzlebum in this set. He's banned in Commander, so I can't even get my giant demon draw engine, but whatever, I'll suck it up. More than enough of you have compared me to the Professor over at Telerian, so it should come as no surprise as I bring up the fact that no one expects the Inquisition of Kozilek. Okay, I did it, now leave me alone. Alright, so at long last we've got our Liliana of the Veil reprint. Sure, she's a mythic and it likely won't hurt her price tag too much, but I know if I pull one, I'm gonna need to spend another $20 on a brand new pair of pants. Blood Moon. Because fuck anyone who wants to play multicolored decks. Marvel called with a cease and desist odor from Wizards reprinting Hellrider and we're promptly set on fire. End of story. Magma Jet, because Popper Burn needs a little love too. Let's share some love for Popper, please? Craterhoof Behemoth is like the buddy I didn't know lived in my neighborhood until I bumped into him at the local Costco. Like seriously, did anyone else forget that while all hell was breaking loose on Innistrad with Emrakul, this giant thing was just chilling in some forest somewhere? Anyway, give me a Pokeball, my Yisan deck needs a new beastie. Still likely far too expensive for my budget. Next. Sure, why not? Considering as the next set will bring us back into the realm of Nicobolus, seeing Cruel Ultimatum is really making me excited that my favorite villain in Magic is coming back. Prepare your buttholes, Gatewatch. Daddy Bolus is back to kick some. Hey, are we getting original Olivia? Long time no see. 
We're so totally going to be doing an Olivia Voldaren deck tech at some point in the future once she's done fighting off the craziness on Innistrad. Yeah, sure, Stoic Angel might not be the most played card in Modern right now, but she's definitely a great card from my Rafik of the Many deck. And if you don't know by now that Rafik is one of my favorite commanders, here's the link to the tech I did on it. Watch it, it's terrible. Die, Sun Titan, die! Zer the Enchanter. Because commander players new to the format need to get a hold of this super nasty little friend. <sighs> So remember how earlier I mentioned how Popper needed a little bit more love? Uh, we have Burning Tree Emissary now. I'm sure a red-green aggro deck is on the way in some capacity. Basilisk Collar, because Kitty needs a collar. Yes, I know it's a dog in the picture, shush. So I actually just found out the other day that Graph Digger's Cage is actually worth something, and I'm currently sitting on at least $40 worth of these things that I have literally never used. Cavern of Souls is a very fun little toy for any and all tribal decks in Commander. If you don't run this in your tribal decks, you're either as financially strained like myself, or you don't yet realize the power of the dark side. So yes, Modern Masters is quite the set to lead up to Amonkhet. We have reprints of so many cards of significant value, I'm pretty certain that now cracking a pack from this set will result in you getting more value more of the time than you would cracking jank. So what do you think of this set? Are there any cards that have you excited? Let me know in that comment section down below, you know, like and share the video and yada yada yada. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all next time.